Let's find out how to calculate vector components. First thing we want to do is figure out the components of this particular example. We've got a vector that has a magnitude of 10 newtons at an angle of 53 degrees. And we want to find the horizontal and vertical components. So the first thing that we do is we start from the origin and we draw the two legs of a right triangle that has the, um, the angle within it. So we want a triangle that has that angle in it. So we draw the arrows first moving away from the origin and towards the hypotenuse's arrow. So we first we draw our horizontal vector coming from the origin and over to the left. Then our vertical vector straight up. So notice our angle is, in, is on the inside of this right triangle. Now to find the values of fx and fy, we need to use SOHCAHTOA, our trig functions. So let's see what the sine function gets us. So if we figure out the sine of 53 degrees, We've got to calculate out the opposite side, which in this case is F sub Y, and we divide that by 10 Newtons. We have to solve for F sub Y by cross multiplying and taking 10 Newtons and multiplying it times a sine of 53 degrees. Similarly, Let's do that with the cosine. With the cosine of 53 degrees, we will take the adjacent side. The adjacent side to that angle is right there at 50, at F sub X. So that value is F sub X, and I'm going to divide that by the hypotenuse of 10 Newtons. So once again, cross multiplying, F sub X will equal 10 Newtons times the cosine of 53 degrees. So let's calculate those using a calculator. To figure out this, these particular calculations, first thing we should do is figure out whether we're in the correct mode. So we press mode and notice that we are in the wrong mode. We're supposed to be in degree mode. So I'm going to use the cursor go down to radian I'm sorry, and, and to degree I should say and hit enter then to get out of that I'm gonna click second mode there I go and now I've got to calculate 10 cosine 10 times the cosine of 53 degrees so I'm gonna press 10 then cosine 53 then I'll just press enter. I'll do the same thing with 10 sine 53 and then hit enter.